Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. We had somebody call the other day and wanted to know how to torque their cylinder head, probably to retorque it. But I happen to have an MG Midget open right now, and I've got to torque the head, so I asked Trevor to come out and take a picture, just so you can see how I would do it here in the shop. We're after a final torque of 55 pounds on each one of the studs. I've got the cylinder head on. You can see this, and you can see that all the all the uh, nuts here are, are loose. You know they're all uh, they're all loose here. So we're going to start. If you uh, if you're following along in your in your uh, uh, owner's handbook, you'll see that that the tightening sequence on these is a spiral. Uh, we're going to start here at uh, 15 pounds, which isn't very snug, but it's a start. I'm going to crank up my click torque wrench here to 15, and uh, there's going to be a lot of a lot of twirling here because all these nuts are relatively loose but there's 15 and I'm gonna I'm gonna run run this clockwise so you'll see that I'm, I'm off to my uh, my first one here now I, I didn't tighten up the the um, rocker shaft onto the 516 studs first certainly not because that would tend to hold the cylinder head away from the block uh, and I don't want to do that, so I'm going to tighten up the 5 sixteenths nuts afterwards. But I'm running these things down here to 15 pounds. I have a click torque. You know, there's three different types of torque wrenches. One is a swinging bar wrench. That's the kind you guys probably have. That's the most common kind. And you have to sight on it. <clears throat> then there's the, uh, whoops, you got to be careful not to hit yourself. Um, there's the click torque like this that clicks and you can hear it therefore um, it's easy to use there's also a more modern electronic version but gosh electronic tools on an MG is kind of a conflict in technology so anyway we're just about done with our nine here you can see that I've gone out in a started at the middle here and uh, it formed a spiral if you were to connect the dots and uh, turn them into a into a rounded kind of deal here. We we went out like that. So uh, I'm at 15 pounds. My next setting is going to be 25 pounds. Uh, I got that right here. 25. Twenty-five, twenty-five, and uh, what we're hoping, of course, is that we don't break them off here. Um, that's the uh, the danger. Always the danger of torquing a uh, cylinder head is snapping the studs. If they're the factory studs and they haven't been stretched, they're just fine. Um, if you want to change up to a to a more modern stud, then you get the ARB uh, studs. That's an expensive set; it's a couple hundred bucks, I think. Um, all right, now I'm going up to this is 45 pounds. If you hadn't seen, but I oiled all the I oiled all these nuts first. So my resistance to turn would be the same on each stud. There's 45. And finally, I'm up to 55 pounds, which is my final torque. You can hear it clicking now in its resistance to turn. done. So it's gradual. It's from the center out. I'm going to back this thing off to about 20 now and tighten up my uh, my studs. If I can find 20. i got eyes of an old man. 
staring on something I can barely see here. Anyway, now we're going to go ahead and tighten up our uh, rocker, rocker studs. Now an MGB is just the same as this, only, only that there are two more studs to tighten the midget. 1275 has got uh, nine studs, except for the Cooper. There's that's got 11. Um, but the, uh, the MGB has 11. Awful lot of money to pay for two more studs in the engine, huh? The Cooper S. That's about the only difference. Oh, well, that's not true, really. Um, anyway, here we are. We're almost done. And from here, I've got to adjust the valves. Now, to, I'm not going to show you that on this tape because you can go and find valve adjustment on another one of the YouTube videos that I've done. So here we are, we're torqued at 20 on the 516 studs, 55 on the big studs, the cylinder head's all torqued. For those of you who are in Texas, Carolyn and I will be in Waco, Texas this weekend, the 24th, I think 25th, uh, at the, uh, the big MG show there. We we'll hope to see you there, and until we make another one of these, see you later.